Hey there, Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gatha, and in this video, we will see nested if else in Python. So, we'll open idle file new file. Now, uh, we have learned about conditional programming in the previous two videos, and we understood why do we need conditional programming, right? Now, say for example, you want to find max of two numbers. So, the way you would be finding the max of two numbers is now to find max of two numbers. So, what we'll do? We'll start our application. Okay. So, our program starts. Now, because we want to find max of two numbers, we are going to take the input. The input will be two numbers. So, we'll require two variables say n1 n2. Now, once we take the input, we need to check whether n1 is greater than n2, right? If true, in that case, we'll just print n1 is max. If n1 is not greater than n2, we will print n2 is max. Okay. Now, this is a normal if else statement where we write if n1 greater than n2, true, I do this. If it is false, I do this. And that's fine. That's a simple program. And then based on whatever it is, we are just going to stop our application. So if I try to implement the same in Python, right? How you would be doing again n1? is equals to because as we discussed we require two variables so I'll say input enter a number same way I'll say n2 input say first number and input second number fine now if so I've input the two numbers n1 and 2 the condition needs to be checked so, I'll say if n1 greater than n2, then I will be printing else will write n2 is max because if it is true, you go on to the right side. If it is false, you print n2 is max and then your program stops. So, we'll just save it and let's execute. So, enter first number 20, enter first second number 17. So, you can see 20 is max, no issues, it works fine. If I run it again and if I enter the first number as 12 and the second number as 100, it prints 100 is maximum. So, this part is working fine. Now, let's have a twist into it. So, say for example, now I want to twist this in a way that if n1 greater than n2, okay, if this condition is true. In that case, I would print n1 is max. Okay. If this condition is false, I would again want to check if n2 is greater than n1. If this is true, I am going to print n2 is max. Okay. If this is false, in that case, I would want to print that n1 and n2 are equal. And based on whatever it is, all the programs from wherever the control flows, they are going to stop. So now you can see I am going and checking if n1 greater than n2, true, print n1 max, my program stops. If no, then I check if n2 is greater than n1, true. I say n2 is max, program stops. If not, if this is false, that means neither n1 is greater nor n2 is greater means both are equal. So, can you see there are multiple conditions. If this is true, then this is fine, complete. Otherwise, otherwise the flow goes over here, again checking for the condition using if. And then if this is true, it prints this, else it prints this. This is nested if else. So, 
if n1 greater than n2 i do this now i cannot write else n2 greater than n1 okay else this print n2 is max else i'll say print <coughs> both are equal now see if i do this and if i run it says invalid syntax because the conditions always comes with if so i can say else if n2 is greater than n1 then print n2 is max else print both are equal okay so see if i save this if i run enter first number 20 enter second number 12 20 is max okay i run it again and the first value is 12 second value is 20 20 is max again no issues if i run it again and the first number is 12 second number is 12 you can see it prints both are equal so if this is true print n1 is max done else it again goes and again it checks if n2 is greater than n1 true print n2 is max else both are equal now this can be short turned in python by i can say if n1 greater than n2 print n1 is max else if i'll check this condition else i'll say both are equal so then you can use the nested if else by saying if else if else And now, if I run the program, it's going to be the same. If I run this program again, enter first number twelve, second number twelve, both are equal. Again, if I run it, enter first number thirty, second number twenty-three, thirty is max. Again, if I run it, I can say, suppose hundred, and then I can say two hundred. You can say two hundred is max. so this is called as nested if else next video we will see few more programs on nested if else till then happy learning take care and bye bye